Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. My partner tells that story. And indeed, it was a precursor for his acceptance of other things he did not understand. Or perhaps I could say other things that were always there, but that he ignored. That is a little bit of the subject of this particular channel. The subject of today actually is the relationship with your soul. But in my partner's case, that relationship was non-existent. He did not believe, perhaps, that, that even there was one. After all, there was no evidence to him. So when you spoke of things that were metaphysical, that were perhaps spiritual in a way that he had never heard before, it was not believable. But the push of having his eye troubled brought him to his knees. That is the process of so many people, and it is no longer needed. In this energy, dear ones, people are starting to make discoveries now of their own because it starts to make sense. This is a new energy. I want to talk about the relationship to your soul. There's a story that is told about how free is a human being to choose what they wish to choose without any intervention at all. And there is often debates about that freedom. How free is the human to do this or that and, and still be a creature of the God that created it? We have told you that you have 100% absolute free choice. We also told you that the only intervention that there is is global, and that is to say we put things in your path for you to see and experience if you wish to. We never, we, that is the creative source on the other side of the veil, will push a human into a decision. We'll give them a choice. In my partner's case, he was not pushed into doing what he did. That was his free choice, to believe that there might be a healing energy that he didn't know about. He didn't have to go there. He could have instead suffered. But instead, he had guidance from a partner who encouraged him. It's the teaching that we give you. It's the examples that we give you as a partner to make you look, if you choose. Your soul is beautiful beyond belief. It is a creation of spirit, of the creator, a multidimensional, endless, ageless, beautiful, magnificent thing that you don't understand. And all of you have it, every single human being. And yet it remains elusive on purpose, dear ones. Because if you could sense it, if you could see it, if you, if you had instinct that said, oh, yes, it's there, and I know it's there, that would be a bias. You must have free choice. Most humans hear about a soul. Even in spiritual systems, you hear about a soul. But if we said... What does it do for you? Where is it? Where is it now? Can you experience it? Most humans would say, no, that is something that you get when you die. That the soul somehow just floats around, and it's only really, truly something that is activatable after death. You climb somehow back into your soul, or if you left it at the door when you were, when you were born. That is common belief. And yet... There's even language that you would use about having souls. It's very, very common. It's not even spiritual. Those sailors who sail the seas are used to how many souls are on board. So you see, it's a really a, a very difficult thing to speak of when everybody knows it's there to some 
degree, but feels perhaps it's not available. The relationship to the soul is starting to shift and change. You might ask, why is it that a human being could have something so magnificent or really at least having something that is so known and yet don't believe it? There has to be something perhaps that would encourage you to look. And we have said this before. My partner has even given examples of things in his life, and he's called it Major Look, where spirit will do something and there will be an occurrence and some unusual thing that is not explainable at all in logic, and it makes you look. Could there be more? Is it possible that this soul of yours is here now with you all the time? What if, what if that soul contained answers to every single problem you have, including that which you would have that you might say is a health problem? What if that soul contained tools that would get you through troubled times? What if that soul had the solutions of physics and invention? What if that soul was hooked to every other soul in the universe? What if... That soul had mastery in it, if you looked. I just gave you the truth. The relationship between you and your soul is starting to shift. It's so interesting how humans can see things or not, and how they perceive things based upon their training, based upon what people tell them, a man has a mole on his back. He can't reach it. There's no way he can reach it. He sees it in the mirror, and others tell him, well, yes, you have a mole on your back. And yet there would be those who might fit that description who will say, no, I don't. No, it's all a trick. It's an optical illusion. It comes and goes. I don't know what it is. It's not a mole, you know. I can see it in the mirror, but that doesn't mean it's there because I can't feel it. I can't really see it except a, a glass or a picture. And that's not really seeing it live. And you might say, well, that's absurd. Oh, really? There are those, dear ones, who deny that there are germs because they cannot see them. It's a conspiracy, the whole germ thing. There are those who say that the earth is not round. You see, it's a conspiracy, the whole round thing. Truly, there are humans that have perceptions that Nothing truly is real unless they can experience it and touch it and feel it. Photos don't matter. What other people say, proof does not matter. That is a state of mind that exists today. And these would be the ones that say, there is no soul. I want to give you something else to think about. There are many who will have a conversion experience in religion. They will be converted. But did you notice it's not just one religion that they get converted to? Now, there are ones that have perhaps a more push to conversion. The, the message is out there more. But indeed, there will be conversions to all of them. You'll be converted to Judaism, to Buddhism, Islam, Christianity. There are conversions constantly not just to one religion. What's going on here? You say, well, they're being talked into it. Now I will tell you what's going on. All of them have one thing in common. They're being converted because they are starting to touch something they had never touched before. The primary energy of the soul is love. And every single one of those religions feature love at the core and that's not necessarily the doctrine they feel the energy of it the emotion of it those around and they're they're hooked to love and they convert to that which is in front of them whatever that is and those people telling about it and it's so real they discover love welcome to communication with the soul that's the first thing 
the ability to be peaceful, to feel love, to have an idea, perhaps even, that there might be some healing there, some, some magic, perhaps even. Indeed, almost every religion teaches that. They may call it a miracle. They may call it spontaneous remission, but it's there and it's real. But it's all hooked to love. The modalities that you hear, even from the physicians in this program, they often talk about the love. They can't do it necessarily without it, and they know that. I would like to tell you what's going on. This planet is in a new energy. The new energy is starting to push you to examine the communication with your soul because in there, there is enlightenment. As you communicate with your soul and start to, number one, believe it. Number two, understand that it's more than just a thing. It truly is the magnificence of God in you. Touching the face of God is what you do. When you start looking into yourself, now you know why I told my partner, start the healing circle of 12 because we're going to start increasing the communication with the soul. It's time. The energy is right. 2012 has passed. And those light workers who wish to have these things are ready and willing. And even those of you who have done all of this spiritual work all your life are still having trouble crossing the bridge. Some of you, some of you not. Because this communication is new. It's not anything you really had before in this way. You cross the bridge. We invite you to become a partner in that multidimensional thing, meeting your soul. That relationship is starting to occur. And the first thing you feel is safety, love, and the big one. The belief that indeed healing is possible no matter what you have, no matter what is happening in your life, that these things can be corrected, rewritten, and gone from you. And that is what the soul has for you. It's magnificent, multidimensional creates things that you could never create in 3D and packed with love and compassion for you. Dear ones, I gave you information many, many years ago that you are dearly loved, and you are. There is a creator who is looking at you right now and says, please, come closer and find the things that have always been there for you. <laughs> oh, there'll be more. And so it is.